good morning students of class 4th students i am sure all of you are happy and healthy students in my last video i had explained and written the first three question and answers of exercise b of comprehension of lesson 9 unusual friends and i am sure all of you must have written the first three question and answers neatly in your english notebook not to today children i am going to continue with exercise b the remaining question number 4 so all of you please take out your english notebooks and your wordsworth english reader book turn the page to page number 80 children please take out your english notebooks and your wordsworth english reader book turn the page to page number 80 as i'll be continuing with question number 4 of exercise b of comprehension of lesson 9 unusual friends now the question number 4 children is in this story there are many excuses that the cat gives usually the cat expresses them to suit her self find three of them now this question says in this story there are many excuses the cat gives excuses ka matlab kya hai bahane banana cat kai sare bahane banati hai and usually the cat expresses them to suit herself aur wo sare bahane cat isliye banati hai kyunki wo sare bahane usko suit karte the kyunki she wanted to eat the pot of dripping all alone and find three of them so if you remember when i was reading and explaining this chapter i had told you to underline some phrases so the answer is the three excuses expressed by the cat in this story are the first one children the best things in life are the things you keep to yourself first excuses the best things in the life are the things you keep to yourself jitni bhi achhi cheeze hai wo apne liye rakho kisi se share mat karo because she didn't want to share the pot of dripping then the second excuse children is never leave a 
job half done. She had eaten the half pot of dripping and then she gave the excuses that why leave that also. She wanted to eat the pot of dripping all alone. Then the third excuse is the best things in life didn't last. बेस्ट थिंग्स इन लाइफ डिड इन लास्ट लाइफ की जो सबसे अच्छी चीजें हैं वो हमेशा नहीं रहती फाइन सो विद दिस वी हैव कंप्लीटेड आर एक्सरसाइज बी चिल्ड्रन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव डन इट आई विल रिवाइज इट वंस अगेन देन आई इट इज आंसर द थ्री एक्सक्यूजेस एक्सप्रेस बाय द कैट इन द स्टोरी आर द फर्स्ट द बेस्ट थिंग्स इन लाइफ आर द थिंग्स यू कीप टू योर सेल्फ सेकेंड never leave a job half done third the best things in life didn't last so now i'm going to erase children and i'm going to start with exercise c exercise c has to be done in the book itself five Exercise C is find words from the story <coughs> which mean the same as the following. now there are four words given and we need to find the synonyms the words with the same meaning and children the first word is unsure and the synonym from the story is doubtful the mouse was always doubtful which means not sure unsure so write d o u b t f u l doubtful then the second word is mouth watering and mouth watering means drool mouth mein pani aana then the third word is intense and difficult and the word is severe then the fourth word is attack and the word is pounced E O U N C E D pounced. So these are the four synonyms from the lesson: unsure, doubtful, mouth watering, drool, intense and difficult, severe, attack, pounced. Clear? Yeah? So with this we have finished the comprehension exercises, children. And now. I'm going to start erase these and start with frame sentences. Fine. So all of you, please take out your notebook as we'll be doing frame sentences. Okay. Frame. 
sentences. The first word is doubtful. Doubtful, not sure. Unsure. So, the sentence is It is doubtful. That he will come. It is doubtful that he will come. Please draw a parting line neatly after each sentence. The second word is insisted. Insisted means agra karna, jor dena. They insisted that everyone everyone should they insisted that everyone should come to the party. They insisted that everyone should come to the party. Children, please draw a line after each sentence using a scale and pencil. Then the third word is approaching. Approaching means coming. Approaching means coming. And the sentence is We could just see the train train approaching in the distance. We could just see the train approaching in the distance. Now the fourth one. Persuasion. Jordan. So, okay. After a lot of persuasion after a lot of persuasion the guard agreed to let us in the guard agreed To let us in. बहुत जोर देने के बाद ही गार्ड ने हमको अंदर घुसने दिया. ठीक है? Now the fifth word is gathering. Now gathering means collecting. And the sentence is she was Gathering, he was gathering flowers for making a garland. She was gathering, sorry, I forgot to write flowers. She was gathering flowers for making a garland. 
वो फूल इकट्ठा कर रही थी माला बनाने के लिए क्लियर सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव रिटर्न दीज फाइव सेंटेंसेस वंस अगेन आल रीड देन आल रिवीजन राइट दी सिक्स वर्ड डाउटफुल इट इज डाउटफुल दैट ही विल कम इंसिस्टेड दे इंसिस्टेड दैट एवरी वन शुड कम टू दी पार्टी थर्ड अप्रोचिंग we could just see the train approaching in the distance fourth persuasion after a lot of persuasion the guard agreed to let us in fifth gathering she was gathering flowers for making a garland so fine now i'm going to erase children and write the sixth word for sentence Sixth word is drew. Drew means not watering. And the sentences: babies drool a lot when they are feeding. Now what does this mean? कि जो छोटे बेबीज होते हैं उनके मुंह में बहुत पानी आता है जब उनके दांत आते रहते हैं आप देखते हो ना उनकी जो सलाइवा है वो मुंह से बाहर हमेशा निकलता रहता है सो दैट इज रूल बेबीज रूल अ लॉट वेन दे आर ट्री देन दी सेवेंथ वर्ड इज एंशियसली Fine. Worried me. Now, the sentence is: He is anxiously waiting for his friend. They suddenly say. That is anxiously. He is anxiously waiting for his friend. Then the eighth word is accompanied. And the <coughs> sentence is satena. Children must be accompanied. बच्चों के साथ बाय एन अडल्ट एक बड़ा होना जरूरी है तो चिल्ड्रन मस्ट बी अकम्पनीड बाय एन अडल्ट नाउ द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज येल येल मीन्स टू शाउट शाउट लाउडली द चाइल्ड येल आउट इन पेन द चाइल्ड Yell out in pain. Then the tenth one pounds. Attack. The bird. Pounced on the worm. Worm जानते हो ना छोटा सा जो कीड़ा होता है उसको worm बोलते हैं So you must have seen birds eating worm. So the bird pounced on the worm. So with this we have written sentences using ten new words from the Listen. I'll revise. Drool. Babies drool a lot when they are teething. Teething means the children's teeth are falling. 
सेवन एंशियसली ही इज एंशियसली वेटिंग फॉर हिस्स फ्रेंड वो अपने बहुत बेसब्री से वारिडली अपने फ्रेंड का वेट कर रहा है एट अकम्पनीड अकम्पनीड मीन साथ में सो चिल्ड्रन मस्ट बी अकम्पनीड बाय अदर नाइन्थ येल शाउट लाउडली विच आई येल्ड आउट इन पे टेन पाउंस मीन्स अटैक दी बर्ड पाउंस ऑफ दी वर्क सो चिल्ड्रन विद दिस आई एंड टू डेज वीडियो and please ensure that you always begin a sentence with a capital letter and end with a full stop and don't forget to draw a parting line neatly using a scale and pencil after each sentence so with this i end today's video that's all for today thank you children have a good day ahead